And today I'm going to detail how the antioxidant bioflavonoid luteolin protects the heart. We find luteolin in foods like carrots, cabbage, artichoke, peppers, celery, and apples. And regular daily intake of luteolin is associated with a reduced risk of heart attacks. In fact, luteolin's cardioprotection mainly stems from its decrease of myocardial apoptosis, or the death of heart cells, and luteolin suppresses apoptosis by activating the phosphoinositide 3 kinase pathway, which is critical for proper cell growth, metabolism, and survival. Luteolin also inhibits oxidative stress in a few different ways. So let's get into that. Luteolin increases the activity of hemioxygenase 1, a phase 2 detoxifying enzyme that itself is essential for preventing oxidative stress-induced disease. Luteolin also inhibits a problematic family of proteins known as mitogen-activated protein kinases, which are activated by oxidative stress and inflammatory cytokines and contribute heavily to heart failure. I've told you before how luteolin is an unparalleled inhibitor of xanthine oxidase, the metabolic enzyme that generates superoxide-free radicals proportional to uric acid synthesis, and because xanthine oxidase is critical for the generation of free radicals, elevated uric acid levels are always a risk factor for heart disease. Again, luteolin is one of the best xanthine oxidase inhibitors. Luteolin also has a protective effect on nitric oxide, as it prevents nitric oxide from interacting with existing oxidants to form the superoxidant peroxynitrate, which can otherwise damage tissues throughout the body. Luteolin also activates myocardial endothelial nitric oxide synthase and enhances the activity of the antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase. Luteolin even protects against cardiac remodeling, which is a process associated with heart failure. And remodeling can also happen in response to existing chronic inflammation as the ventricle becomes enlarged while the muscular wall of the ventricle gets thinner, leading to fibrosis, which is the scarring of heart tissue. And oxidative stress is a major accelerant for cardiac remodeling. The renin-angiotensin system, a hormonal procedure that ordinarily regulates blood pressure, fluid, and electrolyte balance, also participates in the process of cardiac remodeling as angiotensin II, the initial factor of the renin-angiotensin system, stimulates the pro-fibrosis cytokine transforming growth factor beta, and this is where luteolin really helps because luteolin inhibits the action of angiotensin II while also suppressing hydrogen peroxide-induced transforming growth factor beta, thereby preventing cardiofibrosis over time. Hypoxia or insufficient tissue oxygenation, is one of the primary accelerants behind heart damage. Heart cells have numerous calcium channels, and in the presence of hypoxia, calcium influx through these calcium channels increases excessively, leading to cell necrosis and apoptosis. And here again is where luteolin is helpful, because luteolin can inhibit excess calcium accumulation in heart cells while also inhibiting inflammation-driven vessel contraction. As a supplement, you'll likely find luteolin in doses anywhere from 50 to 200 milligrams per serving, and it's usually available either as capsules and or as a pure bulk powder. While you may not think of luteolin as quickly as well-known cardio-supportive nutrients like magnesium, potassium, CoQ10, and carnitine, I hope this shows you just how helpful daily intake of this bioflavonoid can be. So start taking luteolin every day and keep your heart strong. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.